Good morning. This is Doug once again from Vermont Hoyas, and I'm here to visit with you and Hoya species Parak teddy bear. This is a Hoya that took me about four years to bring into flower, and it has been a struggle, let me tell you. This was not the easiest of Hoyas to grow. It's got uh, fantastic leaves, just like leathery, tough. Um, sort of, it, it's just amazingly stiff, uh, just just a great leaf. Why this thing is called teddy bear is because the corolla on this plant has got all kinds of uh, fur on it, and that's where the teddy bear name comes from. You're probably not going to be able to see it in this video. Stick around to the end, you'll see some great still photos of it. Uh, this is a plant that like I said, I've really struggled with. I've probably uh, blasted maybe 50 to 100 buds on this thing. It is not the easiest plant to um, bring into flower, and I can see other people online have struggled with it as well because you seldom see uh, huge full pentacles full of furry blooms. There's a few of them out there, but most of them um, struggle. Um, I'm hoping that the rest of these open overnight and I can get more good photos, but I did manage to finally take the, the telltale um, furry flower photo, so it's great, but the leaves on this plant are, are something else and it may be worth growing just for that. I think it's very susceptible to overwatering. You have to really be careful. And I was, this comes from Malaysia and I researched the area of the Parak state where it comes from and the temperatures during the day are in the upper 80s to low 90s and it falls into the low 70s at night that's a typical average so this plant likes it really warm and extremely humid the, the average humidity is around 83 84 percent so that's nothing that you can maintain in a regular home the only way you're ever going to flower or grow this thing is um, in very high humidity, very warm conditions. South Florida, you're probably going to do well with it. Uh, if you're going to grow it here in the north, you have to make special provisions for it and grow it in a, in a tent like I do or a, a large terrarium. Uh, this was completely grown and flowered under artificial light, but it it is not an easy plant. At least it wasn't for me. You may find it um, to behave differently for you. Well, that Good morning, it's Doug for Vermont Hoyas, and this is just a quick little addendum on my video, my first time flowering of Hoya uh, species Parak teddy bear, and I just want to show that I finally did manage to flower it in a slightly more impressive manner. I've got it flowering on two pentacles. This one here is almost ready to close up. That's beautiful, actually, when the flowers are unreflex really cute and then we have this one over here you can see how nice those flowers are sweet little scent and that's it so it still doesn't grow all that well it's still kind of difficult but look at the coloration on the leaves quite beautiful so just wanted to show that I managed to pull it off a couple times and a little bit more impressive the second go around. Hi, I'm back with a final update on Hoya species Parak teddy bear. And since the last segment I brought you, um, I have chopped the plant up because once again the roots were rotted off on the thing. This is the one of the most susceptible to root rot Hoyas that um, I've grown. So anyway, we're, we're starting over again. I just wanted to show you a couple things. The leaves are just spectacular on this plant. It's nowhere near blooming. This is the best one that I have. I also have another small one over there with a new vine starting on top. And this one over here. And I just want to show you something cool I did with this rabbit wire that I use on everything. I needed to trellis this in some kind of way and I couldn't figure out how to do it. It took quite a lot of thinking and I wanted to be able to trellis it without d destroying the roots by pushing some kind of trellis in. So I simply wrapped the pot. This is a four inch plastic pot that I have just put a semicircle around with uh, rabbit wire, you can see, and then I just circled the plant around 
so that seems to be working out very nicely and right now this plant looks as healthy as I've ever had one look so um, we'll see but I do not water this unless it is totally bone dry and then I I water it and then it'll go two three weeks without watering so we'll try that and see if I can stop the root rot from happening but right now I'm pretty happy with my my three little plants and that's it and thank you for visiting with myself and Hawaii species parak teddy bear and we'll be back really soon with more great Hoyas and Hoya